that's still pricey alive. Three squats left. Yanya's like, get this Apex South man out of here. I am not dealing with He's even got Jogger back up as well. And Lusquid, Jinx, they're not having any of it. Crypto in the zone of Gibraltar. They're going to EMP on top of this and get Moist out of here if they can. But Moist takes to the skies. Still alive for now, but it is a temporary lifeline. To start a fight, commit for the second place in the face of LGT. But they they rush Moist and they pick up a singular knock. Moist Esports go down. A collaboration of them and Luminosity. And in the three. 3v3, now Luminosity have to clutch up, start a fight with the Gibby. Crack Yanya, almost take him down, and Jinx pops over on the rampart, getting him melted oh! by Jack Now taking the fight up against Gunbara Yotosan. Riddle Order trying to claim their first win at LAN, and it's split two playoffs. They do it in Killside, but now they've get, gotten dropped on. Vex fall as well as a duo. Can Gunbara Yotosan come over this hill? F. John. He's still alive. He's going at the number one seed in APAC North and Fnatic trying to say, we are here to play. Melt Sarah getting melted, oh, but he drops Lord. back. It's just too good for Fnatic. And Umi John Lovechi has just too much health. But guess what? It is the LG Chivas boys who are here to spoil the party of yeah, APAC North. They're trying to go for not just their first, but their second win. Nizu claims oh. one with the help of Yanya. Can they claim another? Is this Fnatic falling? More importantly, is this LG? with their second win of the day in game number three, Dia. And Fortunately, Swap Off gets the hip fire shots as Hell gets a follow-up, finds Cody. I'm lucky on the solid side, though, as Val Walsy too. The double fight going down as TSM are trying to secure this fight against Complexity, playing around the knockdown steals, but you're the last one alive. But finally, they got the res, and Pulverex are coming in from the backside. TSM, they're oh. trying to get that revive, but they won't do it in time. We see Pulverex pull the trigger at exactly the right time. They are going to eliminate TSM, oh, I believe. Wait, but can they do wait. it fast enough? There's no way TSM come this back. This is Rez, and he's got the double knockdown shield. He's playing behind Goku, but he can't get the shield up with the death box in front of him. It may have already been taken as Vex Gaming with the opportunity, the timing to gain Orsa waits inside of the train track tunnel here. Dreamfire taking the shots with the R301. Rari cleaning up so many of these teams as Pulverex get taken out. 3v3, the bang out goes down. Lobs that as far as he possibly can. 3MZ. They've set this up the whole game. Can Dreamfire finish it off? Okay, so we need to take it to the skies on the gravity lift here. He's literally won, but Dreamfire with the Nemesis. 3MZ0 coming through. These final two squads fighting for the life, but Dreamfire has the advantage. They have the nuts, they have the position, and they're about to have game number five. Dream but at the same time, you don't want to just be stuck here while so many other teams are trying to rotate through. F Chan with the Kramer shot on the Luka. Yeah, that's going to be a, a nice little uh, package oh weapon for him to use on the top side there. Four left alive, and FaZe, they kind of let TSM live there. I'm surprised they didn't peek over and cause some real trouble for them. Uh, but that means they are still a factor in this last one. Pulverix, they swing around the oh. corner. Number one in the group right now, but can they come out here? f Chan is going crazy this game here. They take care of TSM, but they... Navigate perfectly once again. Dark Veil's so important in these final circles just to escape the sight lines for a little while, but then as soon as it comes down, you need to be ready, you need to have utility. And now they're going to be forced into this fight, Dark Zero. Having used the Dark Veil, now they've got to be careful that zone isn't the one that takes them to the grave. They're doing a great job, and they take down Lee, no witness as well. They've still got the Dark Veil down to reset, but Naked still holding the line, still holding strong, and it's looking like this will be yet another win for the region. Naked. This is going to be a potential 1v2v1 right now. Taskmaster desperately trying to get back to 9 Impulse and does so. Can they get the res? Can they get the reset? Hold That's on. the real question. Hold on. All of a sudden, though, the Nemesis is doing damage and Taskmaster cannot finish this kill. The pissing spikes on the floor are going to cause damage. Taskmaster's in all sorts of struggles and the cat, the sticky stuff on the floor is causing all problems. Manages to get a shield swap, though. He was at 6s and 7s, but temporarily can just reset. 100 Thieves maybe have taken the priority position at this point. Omnu manages to get away, joins Vaxlon, and now we have a two versus three versus one as Yuki is just going to be hiding away and maybe trying to escape. And we'll push on to Taskmaster. He's going to try and take second place. He'll do so. Yuki does it for Alliance, but it just opens the door now all of a sudden for Dark Zero to make their game winning play. Dark Zero will push in and they do so much damage, but there's still a chance in this one for the other teams to be able to just reset, get a shield swap and get back into it. Alliance have lost one, but Effect gets a shield swap. Down goes Naked. Here comes Dark Zero. They push in to get the final damage. It's Keep shooting down. That's another one. Rocky down. X that eliminated. And now Onyx is once again.
again in trouble, Genome. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was the, the ring that probably forced Onik to make that jump down there and say, I don't know, maybe we just have to play for fourth here. Oh, sorry, play for, play for third, because now they have got themselves right underneath the others. Will go next and Crazy Raccoon be forced to fight each other? Or uh, can Onik bring this out after that decisive send? Well, it's like the Spider-Man meme, right? You just want to point at everyone. It's like, you go, no, you go. But they don't have to move just yet. I mean, this is exactly what we saw in Game Three, right? Yeah. With the last, the, the last three teams there uh, alive: Alliance uh, and, uh, and and Dark Zero. So um, they really just rotated around each other. It was a ring around a Rosie until finally um, one of them was forced to pull the trigger. Bambino on the fuse, and honestly. <laughs> I want to see more Fusey, right? A little bit of Knuckle Cluster denying that space, but as that ring starts to collapse in, the Seer exhibits going out, and look, Shady, Fussy, Racky, they're able to get a full reset here. They're looking down the barrel of a duo of Raz and Parka, and that's pretty scary. I mean, they're so willing, and they're so, they just need to prove themselves after losing those contests to Aurora and having such a shaky start to this. I mean, seventh place finishes last land. They have to be thinking there's no way uh, that we will be sent into the loser's bracket after the group stage. Now Onik need to make that happen. Fusult has been expelled here by Bambino. Time is of the essence. 19 seconds before this ring has finished the, the center and able to grab a knock onto Raki. Onik Esports eliminated. Go next, dropping down from the high ground, and they are letting it rip. They should be able to take this Bambino, though. Go okay, oxygen. They needed that fight. They were running low on ammo. You got 100 rounds of ammo for two weapons inclusive of the Prowlers. So you wanted to take that fight, loot up the best of your abilities, and then focus on the three remaining squads. You have Alliance, you have Oxygen Esports, and you have Naked. All right, Oxygen Esports, they pull into the middle. Not sure that's where they want to be as Naked swing from one side and Alliance from the other. Alliance looking good from this down the bottom. Oxygen inevitably get crushed between the two teams. This is what we want. Oxygen Esports has been eliminated. We have a 3v3 Alliance versus Naked. And oh, no. You can fight my race. You can fight my race. Break the fence. 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 Get ready, I'm going to Hold on, hold on, The resing as well. The resing as well. One is that side, one is that side. One on the top, I'm on the top, I'm on I'm watching, I'm watching, you're good. I got him out, I got him out. Guys, one on the roof, watch me. One is top left. They're gonna come to the top. Oh, shit, I mean. 50 on horizon. I did damage, I did damage. There's a one, there's a one on top. Hold on the back. Hold on the back. Swing at me. Hold on the back. Pop the back. How can we win this? They both here, both here, my team. Get him out, get him out, get him out. 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 Gather around, gather around, gather around. I'm gonna stop me. I'm gonna stop. Haki, scroll closer. I'm going closer. Swing on the barrel, swing on the barrel. Uh, uh, yeah, go in, go in, go in, go in. Give me knock, give me knock. Now they almost lose. How? Might very well go down here as the shield bat will just barely finish. I love that, right? Five seconds to get that shield bat off, but that med kit takes eight seconds, and they're not gonna have time to be able to get that off if Alliance is gonna keep pushing forward. But instead, Rest. TSM, full set. second place and they know what they did but yuki gets taken down and the tides begin to turn with burhost perhaps
one, and it means their attention is split between Dark Zero and TSM. Finally, Dark Zero do go down, but it gives TSM the opportunity to wall aggressively towards MDY White, opening up the map. A double silence on Complexity's low ground with a frag thrown out means that now TSM, they're getting a little bit greedy. They're trying to play both sides. They're going to lose a Catalyst wall soon. These Arc Stars are chunking them, and TSM will find themselves out of options in a few seconds. You cannot focus on MDY White with Complexity barreling down, constantly putting that pressure on you. We're down to the three squads, and now the question is, who is going to go for Broke? Who is going for that second place? Complexity bunkering down on the low oh, ground, no. and TSM, they drop down! TSM wanted to play for a second, but they disrespected MDY White. It's going to be a quick clean up for MDY as they still own the high ground. They still have the power position. They down on the low oh, ground, no. and TSM, they drop down! TSM wanted to play for a second, but they disrespected MDY White. It's going to be a quick clean up for MDY as they still own the high ground. They still have the power position to simply fall to the floor. Happy birthday to Optic as shield swaps rain in from the sky. But now the real challenge begins as they get pushed and things do not look good for them. Naked do go down. Optic are able to stabilize, but on the other side of this, with only three squads left, Optic have just a solo in the game. You said stabilize. I'm seeing two members down and Nox is about to be a GG go next. This is an ascend game to win with all the oh. chaos on the low ground. Lufka is stepping in. Two squads remaining, turning their ties to start Jinx. a fight. Esports. Turning around now. It's time for the rollers to earn their paychecks, but they... What a problem. They are playing on the basement below complexity. And I'm sure that they're hoping, they're praying that someone in that other building is going to do the work for them and do some damage. Monsoon with a little bit of chip damage, but as the zone starts to close, now the zone becomes a problem for complexity as their exit options get narrowed. Yeah, SAF versus complexity, go next versus realize. You've got to take the fight on both sides of the map. And Cody's going to do so much damage, but now the wall goes down and they've been silenced. Start a fight, take control of the door though, you saw. It got reinforced, Luna goes down. Do they have time though to stick the red? Start a fight, exchanging as well. Smokes go out as well to just try and block off the team up on high ground while they stick this but on the other side of things look at the bottom here oh, cool. completely cut in half as the rise roll now goes in keep an eye on karen poo as caustic as well a lot to do with a lot of damage from that caustic gas go next will lose one as now everyone gets involved black hole goes down go next trying to hold on it's all up to Obli. can he close out down to two squads karen poo alongside him all they've got to do is pick up the final kp damage being done flatline the nade in but the black hole gets destroyed and now he has to rely on the prowler sending it in he goes in himself he is full of confidence full of beans but unfortunately that means that there's going to be alliance above and they will get involved with this fight and they just have to nade 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 black hole comes down as well the inevitable is going to oh. happen alliance are going to do it again it is easy as that alliance pick up the win coming in from look on esports eliminated but what an effort it was from them dark zero will fall as well we're down to three now realize finally getting pushed getting challenged by mdy white and that might open the door now for a send to win this thing yes yeah, and win that engagement at the perfect time as there will be an elimination mdy go down it's a three versus three but how much damage did realize take can they get the gibby bubble down have they already used it are they going to be able to reset kashira's going to go down and sang yoon with that massive in his hands has made this one a little bit dicey lufka now moving in he's got the car in his hands has to hit the reload but this is looking like a lufka game